If you don't already know, V-Ray, one of the industry-leading render engines, is now also available for Blender, and this is a big deal. Well, technically it was released in beta a few months ago, but the official release was on July 1st, when Kaios fully launched V-Ray for Blender. But in case you haven't heard, today we're gonna take a look at this latest update and why this is gonna be a game-changer for a lot of artists. This video is sponsored by Kaios. I think everyone knows what V-Ray is at this point, so I'm not gonna bore you with introductions. Think cycles on steroids, if it has pro-level tools, massive material asset libraries, and a production tested speed and reliability. Before this latest release, Blender artists only had access through unofficial bridges. They were rough around the edges, missing the integration and polish you would expect from a Kaios product. But with the official launch earlier this year, Kaios finally opened the door to its engine inside Blender. And now, just a couple of months later, Update 1 brings major new features, like Cycle's material conversion, Geometry Nodes compatibility, and an ultra-realistic material library from Cosmos and much more. If you haven't tried the new VRA for Blender yet, you can grab a 30-day free trial at kaios.com slash VRA slash Blender, or check out the somewhat affordable Blender-only commercial licenses with monthly plans available. Pick the Blender version you're on and download and install the package. Now, only one step to be able to see V-Ray in Blender. Head to the add-on tab in Blender Preferences and make sure V-Ray for Blender is enabled. And that's it. You should see a new option in the render settings next to EV and Cycles and just pick V-Ray. You might also notice a new menu item called V-Ray at the top and various other settings and preferences throughout the Blender panels. The integration here seems super seamless. No janky windows, buttons, and shortcuts. It feels fleshed out at least at this stage. You can adjust render settings, add different types of lights specific to V-Ray, including rectangle lights, sphere, dome, and mesh light, or my favorite sun and sky, where you can add this fully customizable and stunning sky with all the colors, atmosphere, and adjustments that you ever asked for. But probably the most exciting feature of update one which is the first major update since V-Ray for Blender officially released in July, is automatic material conversion. So essential cycle shaders can now be translated directly into V-Ray, which means all the work you put into building libraries and custom blocks does not go to waste. You simply open your scene, switch the render engine, and V-Ray takes care of the heavy lifting. Not every cycle's material is supported yet, but you can check the full list of shaders right here. The good thing is, Kaios is adding more over time, and you can even submit requests through their ideas portal. For a lot of people, this alone makes V-Ray much easier to drop into existing projects. Say you have an old model, or maybe a scene that you want to render in V-Ray. Before, you had to rebuild every material from scratch, reapply textures, and redo the shading. But now with this update, you can simply select your model and click the Convert to V-Ray Material button. V-Ray will automatically translate supported cycle shaders and set up the textures and connections for you. It is not perfect for every material yet, but for the most common setups, it saves a huge amount of time. The other big update is Geometry Node support. Geometry nodes have become one of the most popular features in Blender, especially over the last couple of years. People use them for everything, from scattering huge forests to building procedural buildings and even motion graphics setups. Before this, if you made something like a scattering setup for trees, rocks, or grass with geometry nodes, you had to bake everything into real geometry before V-Ray could render it. This meant heavier files and extra steps, but now with this update, you can keep your geometry node setup live. So if you change the seed, add more scatter objects, or tweak a parameter, V-Ray will pick it up right away and render it as is. No baking and no workarounds needed. This update also brought with it the absolutely massive Kaios Scans Materials Library. Cosmos was already useful, with HDRIs, models, and some essential materials you could draw up straight into Blender scenes. And now it is supercharged, with over 3100 new, ultra-realistic scanned materials, including metals, leathers, paper, fabric, rubber, and plastic. The big difference here is that these are real-world scans, which means you don't need to spend time tweaking nodes or chasing that elusive realistic look. 
you just hit download, then import, and you are ready to render. And because it all lives in Cosmos, SDRIs, models, and now the massive material library are available in one clean browser inside Blender. There are also a few smaller, but really useful updates worth pointing out. V-Ray now supports OpenPBR, which basically means your shading will look the same if you move assets between different software and render engines. If you have ever had to retweak every material after switching tools, you know exactly how much time this can save. V-Ray is also fully compatible with Blender 4.5 LTS, so you can jump on the latest stable release without worrying about things breaking. On top of that, V-Ray Material Interface got a redesign. Now it is a lot cleaner and easier to use, so making or editing shaders feel less like fighting a note tree and more like actually building the look that you want. And now, let's talk about the pricing side of things. While artists who are already using V-Ray in other software will get V-Ray for Blender included at no extra cost, people who are only interested in Blender get it through the standard license just for V-Ray for Blender. This plan is priced lower than Kios's full packages and still includes access to features like Kios Cosmos. It runs at about $29 a month or $177 a year. So if you're already in the Kios ecosystem, this feels like a free bonus. But if Blender is your only tool, then it is another subscription that you have to weigh against things like Cycles and Eevee, which of course come built in at no cost. So that's what came in update 1. We now have Cycles to V-Ray conversion, geometry nodes working out of the box, a much bigger Cosmos library with scans and HDRIs, plus open PBR support, in addition to Blender 4.5 compatibility, and a simple material UI, which are all solid practical features that make working in V-Ray smoother inside Blender. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in Blender for V-Ray, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.